Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here for another edition of Gear Lies Bleeding Edge. Today what we're going to do is take one of these brand new Apple iMacs and um, upgrade the RAM. So uh, stay tuned and we'll do that right after this. Hey guys, so welcome to The Breeding Edge. Like I said earlier, we're going to be upgrading this Apple iMac with uh, RAM. We're going to do it ourselves rather than paying uh, an extreme amount of money to Apple for it. First, we want to thank our sponsor, GoToMeeting. If you uh, have a need for sharing your computer remotely, GoToMeeting is your answer. You can share your screen with others. Um, head to gotomeeting.com forward slash podcast for a free 30-day trial. All right, so here's the uh, Apple iMac, and uh, here's our RAM. And we actually got this RAM from uh, OWC, which... Um, is a lot cheaper than going through Apple. For example, what we have here is a four gigabyte kit. So if I open that up here, you can see we have two two gigabyte modules. These are each um, 667 megahertz, two gig DDR2. And we're gonna take these, put those right there. And this kit will actually only cost you, um, if you go through OWC, 229 bucks compared to if you went through Apple, it would be another $850 on top of the iMac price. So, you know, saves you quite a bit of money there. So first things first, obviously we're gonna just shut this thing down. So let's do that. And while that's happening, we're going to just disconnect everything from the computer. That would be all we have here is the uh, keyboard plugged in and a network cable. And this is just about done being shut down. And a nice thing about these new iMacs is all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. Um, and, it, and it really is just one screw to, uh, to upgrade everything. Now the RAM that we're using, uh, despite not being Apple branded, does meet all the Apple electrical and me mechanical requirements of, uh, of the RAM that they want you to put in this thing. So let's lay this down. And this is, oh, we gotta unplug the power cord. There we go. Goodbye. This is glass, so you can lay it on its face. And then you just want to lift that up a bit. And now here's the fun part. We're gonna get down here. And here you can see a screw right here on the bottom. And that's the only screw that we have to deal with. So we just put take a Phillips to it and unscrew it. And this actually may be, no, this is a fine size. Okay, thought that might be a bit too big. You just unscrew that. And that should be it. That comes right off. The screw remains inside, so you won't lose it. Let's put that off to the side. And the iMac that we have here came with one gigabyte of RAM built in. So you see that right there. We don't want that, so we're actually gonna just pull on this tab. And when you pull, it should come right out, according to Apple at least. All right, so as you just saw a minute ago, or a few seconds ago, we were trying to, to pull on this tab here to get the RAM out. And what happened was we had to uh, stop recording because we, we were pulling on this thing for about 20, 15, 20 minutes, um, trying to get the RAM out, and it would not come out. The instructions from Apple simply say, remove tab and pull. That was not happening. Uh, the end result was we had to use this screwdriver and just pull on both sides one after another until we got the RAM out of there. This did not work. Um, now that it is uh, pretty much out, we can show you what should have happened, which was just pull on it and it comes out like that, but don't expect that to be the case. So anyway, here is uh, the RAM that was in there, just one, a one, one gigabyte module. We're gonna put that off to the side. Don't need that anymore. Um, instead, we're gonna go with this here. So here is again the OWC RAM. Um, this is a two gigabyte module instead of a one gig. Um, 667 megahertz DDR2. And I think I have that correct. No, I do not. So I'm going to remove it, turn it upside down like that. And you should hear a nice snap or not, but I felt the snap in my, uh, in my fingers. Um, so that's installed. Then you just push in the tab to kind of cover it up, and that's that. Um, the other, 
The other uh, slot is empty, so we'll just take one more of these. Front of the RAM should face the front of the computer. So, like that, in there, and push that in. All right, now based on that, I would expect that RAM to be completely seated and ready to work. Um, next step is just replacing this grill that we uh, removed initially. So we'll just line it up and get our screwdriver. And that should complete our RAM installation. So to test that, we set the computer back up here and I'll just get everything plugged back in that we had previously, including the power cable. We do need our keyboard and mouse. So let's turn this thing on and confirm that our RAM uh, is seated as we hope it is. So again, if you wanna do the same type of purchase, head to OG.com um, and you'll find all sorts of Apple products there. RAM is a, uh, one of their top sellers because of the price. Now we just wait for this thing to boot up. Meantime, I'm just gonna wipe off the, uh, the face here since we did have it face down. I see some little specks of uh, things that I don't want on the screen. And here you'll see we have a uh, Mac OS 10.4.10, 10 .10, two gigahertz Intel Core 2 dual processor, and the memory is now four gigabytes, 667 megahertz DDR2 SDR RAM. So we are upgraded to the uh, full capacity of this iMac. It does not get any higher uh, than four gigs, but um, you should feel a nice snappy difference. And again, we just saved ourselves some money by uh, using OWC's RAM instead of Apple's official RAM, and it's just as good. Um, and that's pretty much it uh, for this edition of The Bleeding Edge. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let us know. But until next time, I'm Andrew Edwards. We'll see you soon. Although that doesn't seem to be working. It may be just a push. No, it's not a push one, so you, I think you have to pull fairly hard. Come on, Ram. You need to push it down, I think. What? Hold on. I don't know. No. Then just pull it out. It doesn't come out. Can't get in there. Apparently, you cannot upgrade RAM in these computers after all. Yeah,